to end with. So lagging off then. And it looks like Sky has won that by quite some distance. Maybe Jeff just didn't want to break. <laughs> so here we go then. Two races to four. And then if it goes one set all, maybe the dreaded shootout for these two. Who knows? Nice little crowd coming in, gathering for Sky. Big, big favourite here, isn't he, in the States? Oh, yeah. He has a huge fan base in America. Super nice guy as well. And I know his mum will be watching. Deborah. Hi to you, Deborah. I know she'll be rooting for him. She never misses a match. And here's Jeff DeLuna. Everyone knows the ball. The man with one of the biggest breaks in the game. How oh would yeah. you like his break, Christina? I'd love to have his break. <laughs> Considering we're at the same height, <laughs> I'd love to learn that. Yeah, <laughs> you should get him to teach you. I think uh, Roberta Gomez was trying to teach me, and it was like, just do that. It's so simple. I'm like, mm, yeah, very simple. Yeah, he's got a bizarre break. Yeah, he's, he's just like hit hard. Comes up and yeah, <laughs> he just hit hard. I'm like, I'm trying. <laughs> So, nice bank shot. Has he got a look at the two, Christina? I think he can see left side of the, of the two ball. Does, it go, in, does it go between the five and the six, do you think, down the corner? It does look. No, I don't, no? Think, I don't think it does. I think he's, he's looking to play the safety. That's why you're here, you see, to call the proper shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it. You probably know more about the game than me. No, 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 yeah. definitely not. Now you're, g oh, it goes oh. in the side, did it? Two wow. ways shot. Yeah, so just talk about your game very briefly while this is going on. I mean, I think you've improved so much this last year. Thank you, I've been, uh, I changed my stroke in the pandemic and it took me quite a while to, tr to do this transaction. And uh, complementing in my game because it takes a while to actually do in the game what you've been practicing. So uh, it's finally paying off, and I can see my game just changed completely, and uh, all the the work I've been doing finally paying off. Yeah, I saw it at the the recent uh, event in Atlantic City at the World Nine Ball. I mean, you got to the semis. Was it the yep. semis? Yeah. Yeah. Played some really good stuff. Yeah, so... Um, what have you changed? Do you want to say or not, or is it a secret? Uh, I do have a training program <laughs> where I open all the secrets, but um, I can tell you one thing, that the wrist and uh, the difference between hitting the ball and pushing the ball, a lot of people never understand the difference, but it is huge in pool. <laughs> Mu music to my ears, that those words and that's something Fedor is very very good at as yes. well right he pushes the ball in doesn't hit it right? yeah so um, there is just a lot of little things and uh, but the main thing is is the wrist and how to stay away from using your wrist power and only using your muscles biceps and triceps because this is the only thing that actually consistent and under the pressure is not going to crack so um, yeah, it's not. It wasn't easy. It took me quite a long time hitting one ball. I hit one ball for a month, uh, but absolutely worth it. Oh wow! Yeah, and it's, it's definitely change. working. Right, back to this game for a little while. Then nice attempt there. Almost made the the kick shot. How do you like going about this one, Christina? Yeah, it's not easy. Can't really jump because most likely gonna scratch. I think he's going two rails here. Yeah. Short route, long route, and then clip it into the side. I play low. No. Oh, oh how wow. well did he hit that? Where's the cue ball? He's all right. Well, no shot on the four, but at least he's got control of the table. Perfectly executed. It's a great shot. Is kicking something you work on as well in practice a lot? Yeah, for sure. And uh, before I was kicking majority of my time playing follow and then Fedor told me like, you gotta practice as well doing hard stand because 
if you want to play and hope you're gonna get lucky you want to make sure that you hit it hard and stun because in new, new tables like that you don't want to play follow because it's way too unpredictable sometimes so uh, I'm rotating between just playing follow a couple of railers and doing stun shot yeah definitely so he's called it in the corner this is one of those just in case of course in ten ball you must call the pocket if you made it into a pocket that you don't call, your opponent then has the opportunity to put you back in if he doesn't like it. It looks like an open table, but the six ball. You gotta get a good angle on the five ball to split it or play six ball in a in a corner. So now you're already thinking, right. The important shot here is get on this five yep. to get to get on the six, right? So just a couple of shots in front, you're thinking there to there's more crowd look coming in. It's a good angle to play into the corner and try to split or play the six ball in the same corner. They got matching hats on there, look. Oh, it's a nice shot. Beautifully played. I tell you, I was, had a word with Sky last week in Toronto and said I've never seen him striking the cue ball so well. And he said since he got his table at home, he's just practising all the time now. And it just yeah. endorses what you said, you know. Practice makes perfect, right? Yeah. It's so much easier when you have a table at home and you don't have to travel or drive somewhere. Uh-oh. It looks a little short. Yeah, a little bit. Low left on the cue ball. Oh, he's going high. It's just going plain ball. I just think, uh, <laughs> sorry. No, go, go. I think the clo cloth playing a little different this time, right? It's, it's a little slower than it, it used to be. Yeah. And the, and the cue ball stopping much faster than it used to be. Yeah, I believe this is third generation cloth yeah. or maybe even fourth you know because as we all know and there's no hiding away from it the when the first one came out it was like an ice rink right it yeah. was you just couldn't control the ball but they've listened to players and they've listened to criticism and uh, I think they're, they're starting to get it really right now and that man judged the pace of the table perfectly there takes the first rack in the first race to four now what do you think about the new format Christina because get to the stage two and all of a sudden it's best of three sets not just two sets to be honest I love it I uh, I mean I know that from a, a viewer viewership perspective it's it's fun to watch somebody shooting because the pressure is unbelievable right everybody likes to see pressure but for players it's sometimes it feels like way too much and the whole game comes up to just one shot and uh, I'd much rather play best of three sets and at least you get a chance to play hill hill set and actually use your skills not only pocketing skills you know but there's so much more in a pool than just pocketing yeah. so I do prefer it much much more this way yeah good point and I'm sure you're one of the favourites to go quite deep in this tournament, especially after the way you went <laughs> at the recent nine ball. So looking forward to that. That starts on Friday, I believe, the yep. ladies. Looking forward to that. 64 of the best in the world will be here. Now he's called the, the jump again here, is he? I think he's playing real first. Uh, right? He's going... That was close. Not close enough, though. Well, and we still haven't seen the Jeff DeLuna break, but look at this layout, Christina. How likely are we to see Jeff run out this one? There's a couple funny shots, like five ball. You gotta be very accurate playing shape in the five ball, perhaps trying to get into the eight ball. Yeah, 
want to say mapuai to all the filipinos watching i know there'll be lots of them they love their pool and this is one of their biggest stars have you ever played efren did you play efren I did. I actually played once in the bar table in uh, Wichita Falls, Texas, and uh, we were playing for in a man tournament to go to the semifinals, last four, and I was leading six to eight, eight to six, and then I played some stupid shot. I, w I over, I was so overwhelmed that I I can't beat Efren, that I just lost it. So oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was really, really sad, but. It was great to play him. Well, I don't think he's going to be retiring anytime soon, so yeah. I'm sure you'll get another chance, hopefully. So two rails again here then for Sky. Try and clip oh it wow. in the corner. He's such a good kicker, this guy. Oh, he really is. I tell you, that they meant they say about the Filipinos being great at kicking. This guy is very, very good at it yeah. as well, and banking. And banking, yeah. yeah. Oh, look at that lovely shot as well. Really does know his way around the table. I tell you that whenever Sky gets catch his gear, he is really hard to beat, and it's beautiful to watch him play. Yeah, I've become a big fan of his game over the last six or eight months. Very, very stylish player to watch. Great attitude, always smiling. Yeah. Lovely guy. So he's got a little bit straighter on this than he would have liked, I guess. Oh, he's okay. He's worried about that 10, is he? What's he worrying about here, Christina? I think it's a 10 ball. But yeah, it's pretty yeah, natural he's line. Got past it. Gonna have to force this one as well, though, onto the rail and back off again. Beautiful. He loves that shot. It strokes he it so it, well, yeah. doesn't he? And that sound. That's what got me into playing Q Sports really? in the first place. Yeah, just that sound. Yeah. He loves firing balls in. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's okay. Well, this is looking good, isn't it? 2 0. He's halfway to the first set already. So, what do you. So, we're going to be back, guys. We're going to take a quick break. But we'll be back. Taking a break, gentlemen. Uh, a break. I like coming off the second About rail. That way I guarantee I'm not frozen to the rail. Oh, there he just went right around. The wow. He said 10 ball this. Banking, isn't it? Yeah, he's playing safe all the way out to out the left of the ball. Oh, this has got to be accurate. And it's going to be. Look at this for a shot. Nice Glorious, feet. lovely nice shot. Feet. Did he come? Yep, he made it. He just made it. Yep. Rail. Oh my, what a wow, shot. That was a hell of a shot right there. But not there because the 10 ball was very big. Oh, look at this around the back of the right around the back. Oh, yeah. what a shot that is. Oh, this will close. Welcome back. Here you saw the lovely new arena here in the Rio All Suites Hotel. How did you enjoy them clips? The highlights from last year. I love watching them. Some great memories come back. Of course, Viktor Zelensky won this tournament last year. And the funny thing, his, his cues were stolen, right? So he didn't even use his own cues. It's unbelievable. Yeah, his, his, his room actually got broken into, didn't yeah. it, I heard. But he showed them, didn't he? He earned a nice little bit of money. Got a new set of cues. And he's back again to defend his title. There's Jeff DeLuna up with the big hair. I've given up trying to compete with him on that front. Roberto Gomez is still doing <laughs> a pretty good job of it though. Yeah. There he is, look. Very nice guy. Wow, he 
threaded that through there. That was really tight. But I think he's going to be back behind the nine here, Christina. Yeah. Uh, no, maybe not. What, do, what would you do here? That's more interesting probably, what no, you no, would no. do. <laughs> probably I would, I would send the cubo behind the nine or more risky, but send the cubo behind five and eight or send the two ball long, long, short rail and try to play again the cubo behind. So you could either try to thin the two ball or as Sky was looking right now, playing two rails. Oh. Well, well he's under hit it. He put a lot of spin on that, a lot of left hand to hold the cue ball and he put a little bit too much maybe. Yeah. But nothing easy of course. I mean combo's very risky, I can't see him playing that. Not easy safety in here. I see thin off the yeah, two ball left of the two, yeah. yeah, and bring the cue ball back, back down that sort of area again. Send the five over by the sorry, the two over by the four. Okay. That beautiful yeah. arena, look the skyline of Las Vegas. Oh yeah, I love the new Predator Arena, you know, because they put different pictures. He went for oh that. Wow. Or did he play the side? Now, this is interesting. This is what wow. I was talking about earlier. So he's made a ball in the wrong pocket. Didn't call that shot. And he can put De Luna straight back in. And that's exactly what he's done. Because he doesn't like the light. Well, it was a very creative shot. It was, wasn't it? Wow. Just unfortunate that he made that. Yeah. He should have get better reward for that. Oh, well, it's game. trying to hit that clean from behind but didn't get behind it so a chance for sky this is one of his theme shots this one the thin cut do you think he can hold it for the four ball i think he might be able to just um, yeah the trouble is clip off the four and might trouble with the scratch maybe might even not take it on christina who knows it's a very tricky position oh i think he yeah, can slow roll it, it no He's going to drag it in, yeah, watch this. Yeah, just dragged it, but he was trying to play it thick, right, to yeah. take the pace out, and that's going to cost him this rack, I think. It should do. Actually, what I uh, figure out when I was practicing or notice is when you play the outside spin, it actually pushed the ball more than on the other cloth, so you under hit, more likely under uh, undercut the ball. Because it's hit too thick, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, hit yeah. too thick. So you gotta aim a little thinner than you used to. You play with a Revo, I'm, I'm guessing, yeah. right? What, but I think what it's size? Twelve point four. Okay. But I think it's more about the cloth than because I play with twelve point four forever. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think that's why Skyler miss it now, under undercutted. Yeah, going back to the arena, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. And we've got two of them, of course. Well, we've got three arenas here, actually, because we've got the three cushion carom going on. Kubo, he's all right. Perfect. We have our second stream table, guys. And if you want to go and watch Shane Wolford, you can go over to our Facebook page, Predator Pro Billiard Series page, and it's uh, live on there. And any of the games are viewable. If you want to go and have a look, go to tv.kazoom.com register and for a little amount you can watch any table you want and then it goes then so i expect you to study this break coming up from jeff de luna and, and tell us what you see i mean there's some <laughs> great pictures of him like about yeah. higher jumping than you up. higher <laughs> than you right <laughs> jumping up yeah we don't often see that so much these days because he's trying to play with more yeah. control but very famously, he's made like, I don't know, seven on the break or something, playing nine ball before. Yeah. Really is a character. He's called the ball. You're the crystal. I like that, actually. The crystal. Suits you, doesn't it? Yeah, a lot of people tell me that, oh, you shouldn't choose your own nickname, but that's what Je uh, Jeanette Lee did. She came out with a black what widow. A char what a choice that uh, was as yeah, well. Yeah, and look where, where she is. Probably the best nickname ever. Oh, yeah, ever. 
She was a genius. Duchess of Doom is up there as well. I yep. love that one. Look at that break. Mind your ears. Oh, and there's the problem, you see, when you're hitting that hard. Well, he's made balls, but unfortunately, one of them is the cue ball. And watch this again. There's Joey Gray that sat there. Did you see Joey yep. Gray? He's got some guns on him, hasn't he? <laughs> yeah, I one of the problems of this heartbreak it can be very uncontrol uncontrollable yeah that's why i thought that's why i thought he might have just taken a little bit off of it first yeah. break you know but he's gone full full power it seemed first one so this is a tricky little shot here could be the key to this rack christina this one yeah it's it's much rather be three one up, then two to two. Look at that shot. Lovely. Actually, a lot of amateurs missing a lot of not using rail first shots. You know, like little little details like that can simplify your game by a lot. I mean, look wow. at this. I mean, look at that stroke. Just absolutely <laughs> fantastic. And he's looking at a little wry smile to himself. He enjoyed that, didn't you, Sky? I mean, what a beautiful shot this is. Well, I'll tell you what, Jeff DeLuna won't like that because it's one of his shots, that. Yeah. Jeffrey plays that shot quite a lot. It's gone a little bit wrong, hasn't it? Straight in and nine ball doesn't pass the ten ball, right? Uh, no, I don't think so. He's going to have to dig down on this if he's going to run out from here. He is. He's digging down. This is missable. Well, not when you're queuing like that. not quite in full flow at the moment but he's pretty close to it looks like a normal day at the office for me for sky woodward oh, it's great to watch just love watching him i tell you i've noticed somebody who isn't here carlo biardo isn't here do you know why for any reason or not just not traveling at the moment i don't know that's a good question is he playing uh he's championships not. league um ah maybe he could be. We're going to find out the remainder of this set when we come back after a short break. See you soon, guys. We're back. Sky Woodward is smiling, and so would I be if I was playing like him. 3 1 on the hill, first set. And no balls on the break. Not quite open position. Yeah, but look at the 3 10 possibility. Yeah. Make the 1 and the 2, Christina. Round the back of the two. Oh, well, he'll 
be disappointed with that. Almost perfect. Just another roll or two. Oh. You'd oh. think to c travel the cue ball all around like that and to end up with no shot on the two. Well, he can kick it. He can jump it. Okay. He's kicking it. Called the corner, I believe. Did he? Or the side? I think in a corner. There's a big chance he can kick and stick behind. He's wearing his Louis Vuitton look. <laughs> Have you got any Louis Vuitton? No. To be honest, I, I think it's too much. I don't know why. I, I don't mind about like expensive stuff, but it's just like everyone wears it and there's so much fake and I, I just don't like it. Anyways, I think he has an open shot and possibility to play 3 and 10 combination after that, but it's not an easy shot. He might even draw off the side rail into Oh no, he's just playing oh. safe. Oh, he's caught the nose of the pocket. What do you call that? The point? The nose? TD. The t you oh, I wasn't <laughs> going to say that. That's what Billy Thorpe calls it. Yeah. I almost called it that when I was commentating on Billy's <laughs> match earlier. There you go. If the crystal says it's the titty, it's the titty. <laughs> to be honest, I just don't know another word. That's what I heard, and I just repeated. <laughs> That's the benefit of not being a... You're hanging about with the wrong people, Christian. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That's the benefit of not being a native speaker. You can use whatever words you want. Nobody's going to judge you. I that. didn't <laughs> know it meant that. Well, he's got a shot at this, look. Can he bank it? I it's called the so. nine ball. He's called the nine ball, I think. So he's going to play the carom. The, the billiard. He's trying to play the safety. Oh. Well, he's left it. Too thin. Yeah, I don't quite know what he played. I think he tried just to play three ball on the on a long dime on the long rail trying to freeze it at least some kind of safety lovely nails he's got look <laughs> well manicured Christina look at me as if to say what is he talking about <laughs> his nails for <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I just say whatever comes into my mind Well, I think there is still a problem with a six ball, right? He has to be pretty accurate playing in a side, I believe. So he gotta make sure he creates the mm, nice oh, angle. Don't for go the straight. Ball. He's not. He's okay. Can go anywhere he wants. Could play the ten combo if he wants. I don't think he will, though. That's what he was aiming for. Yeah, I thought he looked at it. It's pretty risky. Don't quite know what he played there, to be honest. Nice. Answers on an email, please, <laughs> to Christina to catch at crystal.com. Yeah, I was. I don't know. Yeah, and he's got to be careful because Sky is on the hill. So he needs to get this ball safe. He's going to play it behind a 10. He's playing it off the eight. He's going to play the six off the yeah, eight yeah. in the side. And, and bring the cue ball behind a ten ball. Yeah. Just in case. He'd love to have a look at the seven, though, also. Like that. Oh, wow. Look at that. Well played. Terrific shot. It's what you call all in. <laughs> yeah, it was, wasn't <laughs> it? <laughs> you really are learning, aren't you? So <laughs> how's, how's it back home? You've just been home to Russia, right? It's uh, it's cold, and but the welcome was warm, I'm sure. Yeah, it was nice to see my family for sure. Have you got brothers, sisters? I do have a sister, but she lives in uh, Sweden. She's okay. not living in, in Russia, so. Um, 
the air is heavy there, so I, I gotta say. So, it's, it's very sad to see what's going on with my country. So, so, so I'm sticking here for a while. Guys, <laughs> you have me for a yeah, while. <laughs> you stay and you stay and play pool and enjoy yourself and follow your dreams. That, that's what you have to do. And you're doing everything right as well to move on. So congratulations to you, Christina, Thank and you. congratulations to Jeffrey, yeah. who avoids losing the first set for one more rack at least. And we're going to get to see that break again. Our referee, Dwayne Payne. It's a great name, isn't it? Dwayne Payne. Yeah, you don't need a nickname with a name like you that. You don't. <laughs> it's already made, isn't it? Your mum and dad yeah. gave it to you when you were born. It's like FSR. Oh. It's just natural. How great is that? Yeah. And it sounds sporty and fast like a racing car. And Yeah. Now then, how's he going to break this time? I think he's trying the same, just to be a little accurate with the cue ball. Look at that eye, look Look at them eyes on the prize. Looking at that one ball. Wow, look how he, well he controlled that cue ball, Christina. Made the one, stopped the cue ball dead and he's got a shot at the two as well. Difficult thing, two to three. Great break. It's a shame that that three ball just caught the, the point of the pocket there because it's made it not available into that corner, which yeah. would have been lovely to just stop the cue ball, right? But it's never, it can be never that easy. You know, there's always something. But he can draw, I think, yeah. right, to, the, to play it in the side. Or oh. even go forward. Wow. Oh, he doesn't want to catch it, though. Needed a little bit of left hand English on it yeah. just to pull it past the three. A little tap of the chalk on the table there. Or in frustration. Perhaps, perhaps put other spin on to make sure. Yeah, you and go come inside, yeah. yeah round two inside. rails. I think that's what I would play. Gonna yeah, I was very impressed with your with the way you were drawing the ball in Atlantic City. It's, it's pretty easy in the new cloth with the clean balls. All you have to do not stopping your hand and let the, the cue do the work. So you shouldn't be saying it's easy. You should be saying it's really <laughs> difficult. <laughs> I'm trying to encourage people to play pool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, yeah, Jeff holds shot. his hand up. And he went for that. I think we might see a jump here. Yeah, he's going back for the short stick. Calls the nine. There, you heard it. <coughs> Haven't spotted his wife or son in the audience anywhere. I know they're coming. I'm not sure they're here yet. Sky arrived yesterday. Oh, they might cut the wind or something. I know his dad's coming. Have you met Sky's dad? No, never. Haven't I you? Never, I never seen him. Oh, oh wow. what a great shot! Wow. Oh, that's one for the show reel. Apologies, I was scrambling for my bit of paper there. Sorry. <laughs> that was a great shot, wasn't it? Wow. That was unbelievable shot. I told I told you whenever this guy catch the gear, he's doing crazy things, so flawlessly, naturally. It's unbelievable. Fantastic jump, and it's opened up this now and given him the chance to take the first set. He got hold of that, didn't he? Timed it so nicely. Yeah, 
little bit of check off the rail there. Just slows it up perfectly. He's feeling good. I'd never call Sky Woodward arrogant, but the way he walks around the table with confidence and that air of yeah. superiority. And we're going to be back, guys. We need to go for a breather until the next set. See you soon. Yeah, I know. Take but he didn't even hit the four. I yeah. thought he was going to yeah. hit the four, but he hit the one. So he's taking a break. He's going to go one rail. That's right. Perfect. Oh, beautifully played. Didn't see him call anything. Oh, and he has got it. He's got it. He did call it. We'll soon find out. He has. He's called the ten. He's called the ten. He's got the ten. What a shot! Straight in and around. Look at this, look world. at this. He's going to get right on the threes. He nudged the three out over the side. He's perfect. See? Yep, there you go. Nice shot. I think he misconstrued, George. Look at this again. Oh, look at the this for a shot. Beautiful shot. Or yeah. the combo, either one. Yeah. Sometimes where he ends up. He makes the bank. Very hangable, too. Oh, what a cut that was. Again, this is a lot of power in this. Oh, how good did he hit that? Brilliant. For real. Oh, my. What a wow, shot. That was a hell of a shot right there. Hell of a shot what a right shot. There. Shot him completely out. I like and that shot. Made it, yeah, that's a I like that shot. shot. How he hit <laughs> this one. Very nice. Very nice. Very well executed. Look at that. Wow. Put a nine in the same pocket or something. Maybe up or something like that. How well does this kid hang? Skyler? Yeah. He's banked it in. And we're back. The players aren't back yet, so it gives us a chance to just have a quick look around the room and listen to this for a nice little story developing. Carl Gnaderberg from Estonia, who won the juniors in Puerto Rico back in November last year, has just had a two sets to zero win over Angel Rivera. So a great win for him. Tyrell Blowers is in action against Andrew Kong Buhong. I know it's hard, isn't it? All these words I have to keep saying. <laughs> uh, he's 2 1 up Tyrell in that one. Uh, let's have a quick look around what else is going on. Uh, Hiroshi Takanaka lost the first set 4 0 to Julio Rueda of the States. Chris Key is one set down and one rack down to Julio Burgos. That's actually my friend, a good friend of mine, Julio. Oh, really? Yeah. So tell us a little bit about him then. Where's he from? He's from Puerto Rico originally, uh, and he was traveling before uh, around and doing a little hustling here and there, and uh, he's actually having a quite successful business in Miami, so he's playing here and there. But he, he can be a very good player. He can play really good. We love these little snippets of information inside, inside information <laughs> uh, from Christina to catch I, I'm full of inside information so yeah, we're going to be asking you about Fedor very shortly don't don't think you're going to come in here and not have to answer any questions <laughs> on Fedor it's all right we have a list of questions I have to avoid and list of questions I can talk about so <laughs> I have my ways Yeah, just to let you know, guys, even though Sky won that last rack and the set, it's Jeff's turn to break first in this set because it's alternate break, four sets. Yeah. That's it. But it's win a break from now on. And it was dry. There's a nice little shot played with lots of left hand to twist the cue ball over. Didn't get there, though. Well, 
I think he might have done, but it's an easy kick. Kick and stick. I'm pretty sure he can see the one ball. Can he? Play, play behind the three ball. Oh, yes, he can. Oh, watch out the cue wow, ball. Wow, that was oh. a bit quick and sloppy, I thought, there from yeah. Jeff. A little bit careless. There he is, Moscone, vice captain. One day captain, I'm sure. So while we're on the subject of Moscone, let's see if this is on the list of your <laughs> can answer <laughs> and can't answer. How disappointed was Fedor not to get in the Moscone oh. last year? It's 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 on the list of forbidden topics. <laughs> Well, he was very disappointed and, um, you know, I feel him, you know, of course he's still young and people say, oh, you have all the career ahead of you, but you want it here now, always. So, um, I'm sure you've got many more years ahead of him. I think he's just getting better and better. Sometimes I just, you know, I look at him and I, I don't know how, how he does that, what he does, playing 24-7 and all these tournaments, late nights and, you know, derby. He was playing 28 hours straight and I, I just don't know. I, f I, I touch him and he's, he's a called human. He's 21 or 20, what is he now, 22? 22. 22, yeah. he's 22, right? Yeah. He's not yeah. 40, 50. No. And yeah, I, I touch him. He's a human, but he's not. You know, he's like not a human. he's not a human. He's a he's a Russian robot, without <laughs> a doubt. Yeah. Well, he's driving to make money, and you know, he loves the game a lot. Yeah, I think the big difference with Fedor as well, uh, put us even just put aside his hard work and his training regime and his clean living lifestyle. He just loves the game, as you say, and he loves every single aspect of it. I mean, st plays pyramid, yeah, plays yeah. one pocket, banks, he just loves any game, right? Yeah, exactly. And they all complement each other, each other yeah. right? Makes you more rounded player. Well, this is going to be a jump shot for sure. S straight, straight for the short stick. That's a big pocket. You can make it off the four. He might even go off the rail in the four if he plays it that bad. Let's look at his jump. Oh, wow. straight in. <laughs> wow, never touched the sides. No. Andrew back off it perfectly. Do you think that's good enough for our highlight reel? Shall I, I write that one down? I Christina? think so. <laughs> You're the judge for the shots, whether they go on the list or not for <laughs> this match. That's, uh, that's a great shot. Yeah, fabulous shot. What he's going to do now, play combo or try to play in a small zone. Yep, perfect. But I don't think the four ball passes the ten. Oh, five ball, sorry. Does it? Um, I'm not sure. I think he, can he get on it sh this side though, short side of it. Have to be very accurate. Very he might accurate. even try and go into it here. He's got an angle. He's looking to see if it goes now, Christina. He's listening to you. <laughs> yeah, Sky, you see. see the way Sky was looking at Jeff then, as if to say, yeah. "Can he see that's it? What does it go?" Yeah, that's what everyone I think does. You're just you look at opponent emotions and <laughs> and know. Is so that why everybody. you're the way you are in the chair? Because you're very expressionless. You're Am like I? <laughs> yeah, I, well, I think you are. I think you're quite. It's, you're hard to read what you're thinking. Uh, is it intentional or is it just your personality? It's intentional, I, because uh, you don't want to give any no, advice. No, 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 no. Because <laughs> inside of me is a volcano exploring, and you have to learn how to deal with your emotions. You're just giving up your opponent such a strong advantage of feeling th they are ahead of you emotionally. You don't want to give it up, you know. So yeah, five ball did pass the ten, and it was quite easy. Yeah, I can more or less just stop the cue ball here, can't he? Oh, he chose to draw back. Okay, 
Yeah, he can just draw over now. Looking to get a good start, Christina, in this second set. Doesn't want to fall behind again. Yeah. I know for a fact that Sky is not a fan of the shootout. And he no. won't want it to go no. to a shootout at all. Definitely. And I can tell you that if you won the first set and your opponent wins the second set, I think, my own, my personal opinion, that whoever won the second set get a mental advantage. Yeah. Because they survived. You know, they're going to ha be happy with a shootout. Yeah, and you it's, go it's to like yeah. a second chance, yeah. right? And if you won the first set, you kind of feel like you're halfway there. You know, almost won, and then suddenly you you're on the same page as your opponent and you have to actually make balls now to win so um it's what makes this format very exciting i know it's had its you know it's doubters and stuff in the past but those people are now coming around to the idea that it's great for pool i mean there's so many more of these events happening now more money coming into it yeah. and more importantly as well getting new viewers into yeah. it you know that want to watch these quicker matches Absolutely. And I, I, again, I believe that these kind of matches are very exciting to watch. And, you know, whenever there's a shootout, you can see it's almost everyone stop playing and watch what's going to happen. So remember when uh, Naoki Oi played with uh, Jesus? Yes, 14-13. Yeah. They stopped the match. On yeah. the, I was commentating on the, on the match table and the players wanted to watch it as well, yeah. didn't they? The whole arena, I think <laughs> half a million people st stopped playing just to watch this. And there's a great picture of that moment where Naoki won it. Naoki Oi won it. Do you, have you seen it in the walkway down here? There's a great picture oh. of him with the, Saramut, the samurai pose with no, the look for it on your okay. on your way here tomorrow or yeah. later on whenever well he's laughing i'm guessing he didn't make a ball oh look at that well the only saving grace is he hasn't left anything uh. where do you push here though christina because of course the the carom onto the six is quite easy, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Do you push easy. to a jump, or what would you do? It's 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 not it's very risky to push for the jump because what? the cue ball might go off the table unless you put it behind the three ball. How about just tap the six, leaving the edge of the one? Yeah, but then I'm actually not really good in push push outs, to be honest. It's it's not my strongest. Uh, Can you get Federal on the phone quickly? <laughs> Call a friend. <laughs> yeah, phone option. a friend. <laughs> I think we should we should um, compliment it in a game that <laughs> once a game you can call call yeah, a friend. you can call a friend. That's a good <laughs> to idea. execute it for you. Maybe that's something for a future predator event. Yeah. When we get to a million, who wants to be a millionaire? The first ever <laughs> million pound prize money. Yeah. We should do it then. I think it would be funny. You can pick anyone from arena to show once in a game for you. <laughs> that's half <laughs> the audience, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, well, the thing is, even if he's going to make the carom, it's still not going to be easy to control the one ball. Not necessarily so he's going to have a shot on the one ball. Right? So I think that's, that's what Sky was yeah, I mean hoping for. He's going for it with power, I think. And try and bring the one ball back up again. That was the problem. Has See. he been lucky? Not no. really. Yeah, this kind of shot requires a lot of luck to have. Uh, I mean, he hit it as good as he could, right? So I mean, it's not luck to, to make it, of course, it's a skill, but luck to make sure that he has a shot on the one ball after that. Yeah, he couldn't have hit it any better than he did, I no. don't think. Yeah. It was all down to luck, as you say, and it didn't go his way this time. So looking to put a good safety in here. Right behind the nine maybe perfect more of a containing he has got cover though so he's called it in the side in the corner sorry one rail may even catch the second rail first that would be nice and just to flick the cue ball out well 
That's no good at all. So a chance for De Luna to double his lead. Five's not easy though. Yeah, I think he, he's going to have to play a combination. The five and eight ball. But the four ball is, is actually, it, it's in a good position because you can just stop the cue ball and then have pretty natural angle in the five and the eight. So. Don't go straight. Oh. That's not good. I think he's still drawing through the long rail. But you see there's seven ball. So he might he doesn't want to touch it for sure. I think he can just force it over or just play I it short side. That's it? Oh. Yeah, he could okay. force it, yeah. That's fine. He was smiling like it's that straight and he can't do anything. Oh. Pool players. <laughs> I know, and their you, emotions. Can't, you can't trust them. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Well, that's what, that's what I said. He, he can just draw a little bit on the four ball and have put a natural line. Yeah. And five and eight. Eight ball. Eight. Calls it. What I like about his game is his eyes are just in fi on fire. He's so focused on the game. He's, he's ready to... He's like a charging bull, yeah. like his nickname. Oh, and look at this for an easy 10. <laughs> well, yeah, he's asking, can he call the combination? Of course you can, Jeffrey. Sky doesn't look very happy. This match has changed round. This then for a 2-0 lead, second set. In it goes. Yeah, don't touch them balls until... OK, have a little listen to this interview from our last year's winner, Viktor Zelensky. That feels really amazing, I think. Uh, stay right. Like my biggest win so far in my career, so yeah, it feels amazing to be back here and try to defend my title. I will do my best to defend this one. I got longer trips, uh, more days of playing. I mean, I'm prepared, I'm feeling quite well. Good to play like 10 days in a row, so it shouldn't be a problem for myself. I just hope that I will uh, show my best game and go as deep as I can. I feel confident. I mean, like last season for me was really great. So I, I expect that this could be even more better because like last year it was tough for me and like major finals. So hopefully I will like win some more major tournaments this year. Hope you enjoyed that little interview from last year's winner, Viktor Zelensky, and he'll be back trying to defend his title. I'm sure we'll see him on this table at some point. Jeff DeLuna then looking to break and go on the hill. Looking to force that shootout. Wow. Look you know at that what jump. Do you know what I just spotted there? Sky Woodward never took his eyes off of Jeff DeLuna's feet there, <laughs> waiting for, the, for him to spring into action we're not going to see it from there but well cut that <laughs> get up there Jeffrey well, they have a famous ball run in Spain every year where the ball runs down the street and Peter chases people down the street oh, and yeah. they jump out of the way yeah. he was jumping out that was a bull <laughs> jumping out the way of a bull called the four ball just in case so it shows that he's going to play in behind the three ball here and send the one ball over towards that four exactly oh no a little lucky yeah there's an edge i think there might just be an edge here i'm surprised he didn't try to follow 
on the one ball, just playing with a little bit of right spin and why would look you need him, to look power him. the ball? I hope he's not texting me. <laughs> He should be concentrating on the game. I think he can play. He can see the full, full ball. Oh, look oh. at this. Look at this. Oh, no. Oh. Worst kiss possible, I think. Too thick. Yeah, his expression has changed, hasn't it? Yeah. He was looking happy and confident. Confident, yeah. Well, race to four. You can even for a second relax and feel comfortable <laughs> on a table. Every shot is it's just matter. so important, yeah. isn't it? Oh, oh. Wow, well, that's that. gone wrong. And he put, made that into the wrong part of the pocket, almost yeah. missed it, which has cost him the position. Get the cue ball behind the seven here. Oh, he's hit that very badly. Hit it yeah. almost the wrong side of it. Yeah, and he might have heard him there. He wasn't happy with that at all. No. This guy jumped up right from the chair. Because, oh, oh no. Oh, he's missed that by a long way as well. But don't forget, he hasn't really had a shot in the last two games. So he's starting cold again. I think he played it way too fast, though. That's, that's, I think, what I do a lot of times whenever I didn't shoot for a long time. Even if it's easy shot, I would quite rather take an extension just to make sure that I'm focused and I'm ready to shoot. You you're know what I mean? You're, you're very experienced for your years, I can tell you that. <laughs> you, you no, but you do. You think so clearly, you know. You think about these things. You think about everything around that surrounds the game, not just... Well, I played for a long time. You know, I started to play when I was eight, and to I think I have a lot of, you know, tournament experience because we had quite a lot of tournaments in Europe for kids as well. Have you ever been coached by Johan? Uh, not directly. He was just a head coach of Russian team, but not directly. Okay. Ever. My dad was always my coach, so. Missed that. Very missable shot. Wow, that won't go <laughs> in in day four. Sky looking as if to say, yeah. How has that gone in? Sky still smiling. Yeah, it's new cloth. The pockets much more receptive on day one than that they will be yeah. on day four, that's for, for sure. sure. Talking about pockets and cloth and stuff like that. Ernesto Dominguez, who arguably is the best table fitter alive in the world today. Yeah. And uh, he's been setting these tables up along with his team. And he's in action on one of the outer tables. And he's taken the first set against Guido Just. And he's 2-1 up in the second set. Go, Ernesto. <laughs> Father, of course, of Oscar Dominguez. He's actually a great player. I, th I think if he would play full time, like dedicate really all his time, he would do good in tournaments. He might go very deep in a tournament. You mean Ernesto? Or yeah, 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 Ernesto. He's very, very experienced. Yeah. yeah, very knowledgeable. Yeah. yeah, Sky, can't believe what's happened here. He was sailing, yeah. winning the first set 4 2. And now look. Can flip around very fast. Couple of mistakes. He's doing some facial exercises as well. That's what keeps him looking so young. <laughs> <laughs> he borrowed 20 bucks off me once at the International Open because they didn't take his card. 
I lent him my, it was my last 20 bucks, right? And I thought he'd gone without paying me back because I couldn't eat anything. He turns up, he, my phone rings, he calls me, he says, I'm downstairs in my car, can you come to the car? Give me my money, in the dark, got back up and he'd given me $40. So I quickly run back down and said, I've given you, you've given me 40, not 20. He said, I know, that's for interest, for helping me <laughs> out. That's nicer. That's very nice. Yeah. And no ball in the break. Yeah, dry again. So Sky needing now to dig deep here if he's to avoid a shootout. Didn't quite no. catch what he said there, did you? Something with the speed. Play behind the 10 ball. Cue ball behind the 10 ball. Yeah, like that. Oh, look at this. How well's he hit this? How well's he hit that? Good call, Christina. Well executed. Sky Woodward and a tap on the table from Jeff there. Fantastic shot. Yeah, well worth another look. It's not the easiest kick. Can be there. But it's a very big ball because you can also play it in a short rail and hit it to hit the one ball after. Yeah, he's called it as well, so he's going for it. Oh, he was lucky to avoid the scratch there. Does the one ball go in the side pocket? It does, but it goes in the corner as well, I think, Christina, does it? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. No, no, he's oh. played safe. Three foul rule, I think he was just asked. Is there three foul? Not that he's on a foul, but... Yeah. Always good to know. Just for you at home, guys, we are playing all ball fouls as well. I know some places are just cue ball, but this is uh, this is serious stuff here. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. no. 110. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Straight in. Almost. <laughs> oh, he knows already. Just a little bit of a, a gap, and they're not full on. There you can see he's having to cut the one ball. So hit it slightly on the right as we look, left from his angle. Not too much, though, Sky. You don't want to overcut this, and not too hard. Just like that. In it goes. Even played safe in case he missed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't he? Did you hear that? He said, I didn't even get the safe, which he was playing <laughs> for. <laughs> so we're going to be back, guys, with the remainder of this match in just a minute. Referee Dwayne Payne 
So Skywood Wood to break. Here we go then. He's got to win two more though. Oh, that's a better break. Controlled the cue ball, made the one in the side. Has he got a shot on the two? Mm, from the look on Sky's face, no. No, and I don't think the two ball passes the five, unless you try to cheat the pocket. But as we know, the first day pockets are very acceptable, so if he could see the ball, I would go for that. Yeah, sometimes when making the ball is as easy as the safety, you might as well go for it, right? If yep. the, sa the safety is more difficult, yeah, he's pushing. So he hasn't even got a, an edge of it, no. No. Are you a bit of a cook? Do you cook at all, Christina? I do a lot of cooking, yes. Do you? Yeah. What do you cook? What's your speciality dish? I yeah. cook a lot of things, but I like to What's cook What's Fedor's favourite? What's Fedor's oh. favourite dish that you cook for him? Crepes and lasagna and uh, uh, like shrimp cream pasta and a lot of, a lot of, he loves pasta, so we cook a lot of pasta and... Uh, That's where all his energy comes from, right? <laughs> yeah. For these long, for these yeah. long matches. But he loves crepes. Does he cook as well? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's, uh, it's a Russian side of me, I guess. I think every, every Russian woman knows how to cook, so... Oh, I love borscht. Borscht, yeah. I, I cook borscht, that. yeah. Our friend uh, Vitaly was staying with us for some time and uh, he was away from home, obviously, too, quite a long time. And he's like, could you just cook the borscht? I just, you know, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I can do that. And we were all happy. <laughs> That's what I miss a lot, is, th is food. I food found food. something on the I can answer list, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Or did you just forget? <laughs> I think you're becoming a little bit softer now. <laughs> you're getting into this. <laughs> Meanwhile, Skyler having a chance to. Yeah, oh no. I was going to say, I like nudging into the 6 9 there just to free the 6. And I think that's what he played. Let's have another look at that. I'm sure that's what he played there. Just trying to nudge that 6 away. Yeah. Didn't mean to make the 4, of course. Well, at least he's not hooked. He's got another chance at this, you know. Another big shot coming. Yeah, extension called. Do you practice with the shot clock as well? No, but I have to say that Put I... Put it in. Put it in your practice. I, uh, I actually changed my whole game for that reason. I have... I had to speed speed up my game double from what it was, so I haven't been specifically practicing with the shot clock. But I oh look at oh this! Wow. Look at this for a shot! Wow, it's oh. unlucky. Does it go in the side past the nine? I don't think it does. Does it? Well, it might do. What do you think, Christina? Does that go in the side? Mm, it's hard. I to think say. it does. That that's what he was does looking. Does Sky think yeah. it does? Yes, he does think it does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Well, oh, that. brilliant shot. Well judged. That's not an easy shot at all. He's not finished yet. I'm not allowed to say his real nickname because it's, it's a family show. But he's got a great nickname. What's his I can't nickname? Say. In the <laughs> no, I mean the official one. I don't know. He's got one. Only the one that we can't say. He's got one <laughs> around the the, I don't know. the bars and stuff of. I don't know. I mean, town. Captain America is is the Shane. Shane. Yeah. But he's also South Dakota kid, right? He's got two nicknames. When you're as good as Shane, you can <laughs> have two nicknames. That's all right. You're going to be called Crystal. The predator one day. <laughs> then it goes. He's saved another. Three two now. Then. So let's just have a quick look around the room, guys. There's not just 
this table going on. We have, well, there's, let's talk a little bit about there. You see, look, as right on cue, this amazing 50,000 square foot room. There's 110 of the seven foot bar box predator tables in here. I think there's 11 or 12, no, 14, I think, nine foots here in this little area here closest to us. These, this side, and then the other side of the arena, there's some more nine foot predators. But then there's three other rooms in action. Four, if you count the Carum UMB three cushion world championships as well. It really is an incredible event. I mean, there's another arena like this in another room where I was commentating this morning. And there's the BCA USA Pool League championships going on here. And there's a round of battles. 894 teams, I believe, around 7,000 players from yeah. all around the states and some other countries as well you know all here for this brilliant amazing fantastic csi expo the greatest experience on earth they call it and it really is impressive isn't it when you first walk into this place it's just insane it's massive yeah and of course there's all the the booth operators the t-shirts the cues the tips the tables everything you can buy anything if it's pool related it's here under the Rio roof I got a bit carried away there Christina sorry <laughs> it's all right <laughs> you don't have to be a, a player to be passionate about the game do you you no, can be absolutely not my dad always said that I have only one love of my life and it's not my mom <laughs> Just joking, <laughs> but you know. I know what he means. Yeah. I know exactly it's what like he means. It's like once you fell in love with this game, it's really hard to forget about it. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm afraid to say, as shallow as it might seem, sometimes for some people, nothing comes close. Oh, oh look! Wow. Look at this for a fluke. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Well, the only good thing for Sky there is he hasn't finished on the three ball. Oh Look wow. at that for an insane fluke. Well, I've <laughs> if I've got your permission, Christine, I'd like to write that yeah. one down because that was an insane fluke, wasn't it? I think we should. He doesn't mean sorry. He's just acknowledging that he got lucky. That was far, very far from what, from where he wanted to be. And Skylar has a chance to get on the hill and escape shootouts. Yeah, if he can run this out, break and run the next. Oh, wow. Why wow, would he why play so he hard? Why smash that so hard? Why? I don't know. Wow. I think the more nervous he gets, the, the harder he wants to play. There was no need for such a hard shot no, he's quite he, he hit the near jaw as well there's another word for it jaw jaw that comes from snooker we call it a jaw <laughs> of the pocket well i guess it's more professional than td anyway <laughs> well it's a pretty easy layout just has to draw yeah maybe just a little bit of a rush of adrenaline there from Sky on that three ball. Oh, watch that glove. Watch those fingers. Watch them lovely nails. Yep. All four balls. He's playing stun shot. And he's playing with a Kamui clear tip there, I just noticed as well. Yeah. What do you play with, Christina? Predator victory. Yeah. I like just drawing in. Or is he going to play this down the corner? I would play down the corner. You don't want to send the cue ball on 8 and 10 and risk the cue ball touching one of these shots, balls, and you lose the position. Well, yeah, he's got to be a little bit more careful now, though. Yeah. This wrong angle on the 7 to play it in the corner. He's going to have to play it in the side, I think. Unless he wants to play an exhibition type shot and draw all the way around the table. I don't think he's going to do that. I don't think he will either. <laughs> I'm hoping he will. Yeah, he's playing I think he side. can play a slow roll seven ball, just like that. 
Oh, oh and there's the danger. There's the danger. Oh, it hurts oh. a lot. You learn so much in the commentary booth as well. Yep. These little things here and there, they change a match, you yeah. know. And that's all because I I think he should have, I would personally, when he played the six, I'd have played it in the side and then just drew into the seven to leave it into the opposite side pocket. I think that was a mistake. But just my opinion. I'm not saying I'm right. But it looked like a straightforward carom into the seven to me to hold it. Just my opinion. Like a great safety. Yeah, he's played that well, didn't he? Got the draw off the rail. Yeah. Lovely little shot, exactly as he played it. Oh, wow. what a <laughs> shot from Sky Woodward. Well, the jumping has been amazing, hasn't it, I in know. this match? We've seen some great jump shots. I tell you what, I'm going to run out of ink in my pen soon. <laughs> You're gonna need another piece of paper. I am gonna need another to write down <laughs> all these jump shots. Oh, in it goes, right. hill, hill, sky breaking. What a turnaround. And we're gonna be back with the conclusion of this match in a minute. Well, Christina and I were deep in conversation about how great this match is and how many great shots have been in it. Can Sky Woodward come back from 3-0 down in the second set to win oh. it without having to go to a shootout? Well, he's made a good start, but he's got no shot on the two. Group break. One in the side. Nine in the side. Nothing on the two. What's the play here? Seven, okay. Seven in the side. I think he's, he's thinning it. Is Karen? Mm, is he? Is he playing the billiard? I think he he's is. He's playing the cue ball behind the eight, no? J and maybe he called it just in case. Yeah, ah. like that. Oh, look at Wow. That. Well, he he's not jumping this, that's for no, sure. No, no. <laughs> Here's a shot for you. What about jump off the rail and back over the eight? <laughs> what about that for a shot? You'd play that in exhibition. Maybe not in a tournament like this, no. though. But we didn't have an another option. But I would consider that, you know. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he has a lot of options in here. I might have to get my pen out again. <laughs> if he jumps <laughs> over the eight, <laughs> but he's not. Yeah, maybe he can play the two rails. No, sh long short. Yeah, there is a shot. Long rail, short rail. Oh, no. Lots of English on this. Wow, wow what's what? he done here? Wow. What's he played here? Certainly a good shot. Tap on the table from Sky oh as well. Wow. Appreciated that. That was a great shot. I'm going to call a shot here again. I know I always call crazy shots. That's my job. <laughs> Bank the two. Call the ten. I don't know what he called. No, behind the ten. Well judged. He's going to well, jump. Now all of a sudden, you know we mentioned if you win the second set, you're then favourite yeah. to win the shootout. 3-0 up Jeff DeLuna. Now Sky's come back 3-3. Three, three. Now, surely, Sky is the favourite. Yeah, this 
when when there is such a short race races it's a lot about mental game a lot how you handle the pressure how can you wow, look stop at this. thinking about the score oh. oh he's jumped clean over the two ball and he's not happy and he might get a warning there from referee Dwayne Payne can you get a warning well maybe not I mean, it, it wasn't really a, a, a big or bad hit, you know, just a splash of emotions. Yeah, I don't mind emotion. Look, yeah. I'm all for emotion. I'd love to see more of it. Now we got to invite Earl. Where's, I was going to say, where's Earl? Where's <laughs> Elder Pearl? We've got, the, we've got the crystal next to us. We need a pearl amongst us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised he's not playing any, like, any events. I think he's doing a lot of coaching, I heard. Good for him. Draw back to the center of the table. That looks just about perfect. Oh, what a chance now. Yeah. He's going to be very relieved, I can tell you that. It's good. He doesn't want to be straight. He can play the combo, can't he? Six seven combo, no problem. And that man sat there must be thinking, What's happened? I was three zero up. Yeah. Well he missed the, the position for the eight ball to win the second set, so Yeah, I never like being critical of choice of shots of players because they know a whole lot more than I do. But I thought he missed a, an opportunity there. Oh yeah. And sometimes you know you just get punished for that. Even if you get lucky and get away and your opponents can see the ball, but something happens and they still make the ball and run out. And I, I always think, you know, you can you can you can't be blamed for play for missing the right shot, but you can be blamed for missing the wrong, the wrong shot, shot, you know? Yeah. And I thought that was the wrong shot. Anyway, whatever it was, this is the shot that's gonna win the game for Sky Woodward. And it just remains Big heart from a sky over. Remains for me to say, Christina to catch. Thank you so much for Thank joining you so us. Much, now guys. you're you're going to be joining us for the World Temple, right? Yes. And you're off now to go and watch Fedor. Good luck. Exactly. Thanks for commentating. Thank you so much, guys. See you around.